Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Learning with Qua. Um, in today's episode, we are going to be doing something beauty related, but it's not going to be our makeup. It is uh, going to be this awful disaster of a hair that happened at the absolute worst time. So if you can actually see, my hair looks a, a strawberry blonde. And um, my mom just passed away recently. And um, I thought that I would dye my hair, you know, a uh, brighter blonde because, you know, put a picture right here. This was my natural hair color. You know, it's dirty blonde. The ends are highlighted and stuff, but my natural hair color, right? Dirty blonde. All I wanted to do was lighten it. So, of course, I went and got a box dye. This is the box dye that I got. I went and I got this color, and I ended up with none of these colors. Like, none. None of them. All this... I know it doesn't look like too horrible, but for me, I'm not a red person. And this is the second time that something like this has happened. And I think I know what happened. So when I was at Walmart, and I'll insert picture here, I found this selection. Now, what this selection has right next to this one was a 9GR. So the 9GR was 9 Golden Red, which I believe was the bottle that was inside a box that said 9 Golden. I decided I'm going to take care of this myself because I fucked it up myself, so I might as well. But see, you can see all the strawberry tones in it. And for me, being said, I've got my vinyl gloves. Um... I do, I went and got me my own little cape, so that way I could put it over. I'm already wearing old clothes that I don't care about messing up. I went ahead and I got a mixing bowl along with some brushes, so that way I can, you know, hopefully do stuff correctly. This is this color additive, which is unread. Ooh, there we go. So it's this unread. And base up some disposable shower caps so that way I can do my hair. Uh, the color I got was this 10G, 12G Clairol Professionals. Let me see. Here we go. So this is what I got. Um, it says it's for professional use only. I'm not a professional, so if this comes out horrible, don't take my advice. If it comes out good, take the parts that came out good. Um, I have the Salon Care 30 volume, so we've got this, and I got the big, big daddy of the L'Oreal Technique uh, Quick Blue, and I got this because I figure after I lighten my hair and then do the blonde thing, I'm probably going to want to start doing like all my different undercolors that I used to do before, like my blues and pinks, fuchsias, purples, um, do even like a turquoise be freaking pretty cool anyways so that is everything that i have for that okay so before you bleach your hair you want to make sure that you start off you brush your hair out completely there's no tangles next up you want to make sure that you haven't washed your hair and i don't think i washed my hair for at least like 36 hours now because I knew I was going to be doing this, so. Wondering if I should bleach my brows so that way it looks like I have absolutely no brows. That's an awful thing, and I'm not going to do that. But it's a funny idea. After your hair is completely combed out, you're going to take a comb, and you're going to... Sorry, my mirror is right here. So you're going to want to completely go down the middle. Split it. As you can see, we are split down the middle, probably not evenly, but whatever. I'm not a professional! So, so far. Now, let's do 
the same for this side. Okay, so now that I am sectioned off, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, how did this just come off? Issues everywhere. Okay, so first thing we want to do is actually like read the directions and go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ooh, this is what it looks like. It's got a scoop. Go ahead and put some gloves on so that way we don't uh, burn ourselves. Oh, and I like fully moisturized my, like I put like a uh, night cream on instead of a day cream on my face just to kind of help protect it. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but probably not. So, full uh, measurements and stuff inside. Um, so I poured the powder in this one and I decided I know the cape is the wrong way before anyone wants to come for me, but I'm going to wear it this way so that way when my hair drapes over, it'll be this side of the cape. Yay! And this should be enough to cover my whole head, especially because I got like little pony hair. I've got my mixture. Like it's going to coat everything, but right? so you're supposed to start on the back first. And I'm going to start with the brush, but I'm most likely going to end up using my fingers. Oh, yeah, it's cool. These clips got like little extra clips on them. So we have our first quadrant done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second quadrant. As you can see, my hair is uh, completely saturated. I used four scoops and two, four, six, eight ounces, can't do simple math, of a thing. And like, you can see it's a solid hump right now. So probably gonna take at least four washes to get out. Um, I'm only gonna leave it in for 20 minutes because so it got me in my little shower cap. So this is how we look, and I will check in after I shower. So I came outside real quick just to show you in some natural light. Watch out, doggies! Look at that. I'm looking like white already. So I'm probably just gonna leave it in for another uh, five, ten minutes, and then go wash it out because it burns. Okay, so I have showered, I got my shirt on underneath and everything. Um, I have not taken my towel off since I've gotten out of the shower and I'm kind of scared because I think I'll leave. Whoa! Woohoo! Whoa! Oh! That's some bright, bright color. So, I did burn like my ends. You can basically see that. Let's see. Yeah, check that out. Oh well. Oh goodness. See? That's why you don't do stuff at home. <laughs> So it 
came out very bright. The ends, oh my goodness, I like completely ruined. Look at that. It's just like all melty hair. It feels like melty plastic. There's like a little piece of it on there. It doesn't want to dry. It looks like it's actually a very pretty blonde, but it, dude, all this shit is fried. Oh, right. Um, and please tell me, how did I miss this spot? Like, I'm so scared to uh, brush my hair. I'm gonna use this uh, Aussie hair insurance just to like, spray it first. But, oh, no. It is stuck at the bottom. breakage right there parts where it's like really damaged it's not drying <coughs> oh my goodness I'm going through a midlife crisis <laughs> It was damaged before, but those were like the ends, and now I've just completely ruined them. Which lets me know, um, I should probably use a 20 instead of a 30. And I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna get a cut to like right here just to get rid of all the dead. But I do need, I do know, I'm gonna go get a 20 12 I'm now back for part two of completely destroying my hair. I went in ahead and I got the Chi 20 volume uh, color generator. And I'm going to be using the, the Clairol Soy Fourplex. I got me a nice little mixing bottle so that way I can just squirt it all over the head. Okay, so that is what two ounces looks like. Okay, let me grab my gloves. But I figure there's no point in actually um, getting my hair cut and then coloring it because then I'm just destroying it all over again. So. This is what this looks like. And go ahead and shake it up. Life is what it is right now. Okay, so I've got this all nice and mixed. And then if I need to make the other one, I have another one. But hopefully this should be more than enough for my little tiny little hair. But let's see what we get going on. What? It's hair color. It's not. Aren't you supposed to be I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. I have to destroy it all before I fucking come back and destroy some more. <laughs> so that was my brother just yelling at me. That's my brother yelling at me right now. Just so y'all know. Okay, so I left it on my head for about 40 minutes and then I showered, I rinsed it all out, I showered, I shampooed it twice with the blue shimmer lights uh, shampoo and then I put a hair mask on and left it on for about five 
five, ten minutes. And then now we are going to go ahead and do our reveal. So, da, 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 da. okay, so still very, very bright, but I added some gold back, which, let's see, what do my ends look like here? They still look like trash. Not even gonna lie, I'm so scared to do this next part, but it has to be done. So let's try brushing this out. We're gonna go ahead and work our way from the bottom. All of this messed up. And it's probably just gonna break off. And it's alright because we're getting a haircut tomorrow. got all these hairs on me as you can see it's all my dead hairs it's all right i think i'm done crying over my hair for now so it's tomorrow i'm like crying again. and i'm not even oh, oh my gosh look at my front you see all that all that blonde was never there Look at that chunk right there. And it's like wet spaghetti strands. It's like so gross. Oh, anyway, so, so far this is how my hair color is. It is like this blinding blonde that I know. And like, if you see it in person, you can see like some of the shadowing and stuff. Like, you can still see Still kind of a little bit of banding a little bit, but not. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow's adventure getting all this caca cut off. Let's see, so it's probably gonna end up like right here. It's a lot. <laughs> 